All right, let's sketch a graph from a verbal description. How can you sketch a graph of the polynomial function f from a verbal description? So first step, we'll kind of outline this with steps so we have some things to look back on. Step one, let's identify or estimate the x-intercepts. And this is a sketch, so if we are estimating some things, that's okay. So how would we figure that out? When your graph changes from positive above the x-axis to negative below the x-axis, where that change happens is where your function will cross your x-axis. So we're positive on the intervals from negative infinity to negative four. So at negative four, it's gonna switch to a negative interval. Um, and now I can see a negative interval in the interval from negative four to negative one. So at negative one, it's gonna come back up and go to the positive side. It's positive from negative one to four. So I'm gonna go over to four. That's where it's going to dip below. Um, and then it is negative from four to infinity. So we can predict it's positive on the interval. So it's gonna be up here then it's gonna be down here doing something, then it's gonna be up here positive, and then it's gonna end down here. So step one, identify or estimate the x-intercepts. Nice job. Um, step two, let's identify or estimate the turning points. So if you remember, turning points is when it switches from increasing to decreasing or decreasing to increasing. So it's got points where it's going to change and go down, change and go up, change and go down. And if they're giving us the decreasing intervals and the increasing intervals, we can estimate or identify those turning points. So it says f of x is decreasing on the interval from negative infinity to negative 2.67. So let's draw in negative 2.67, just kind of, I'm estimating that's negative 2.67. Um, that's where it's gonna turn from decreasing and then it's gonna increase from the interval from negative 2.67 to a positive two. So let me get another kind of visual for me at positive two. And then from two to infinity, it's decreasing. So what we're doing is we're decreasing from negative infinity to 2.67, then we're increasing, then we're decreasing. So something along those lines. All right, step three. We're gonna evaluate the end behavior. So we don't have the actual function, the polynomial equation to look at to figure out the end behavior. So if we pay attention to where it's increasing or decreasing um, on the ends, so it's decreasing from negative infinity to 2.67. So that means that it is going like this. It's decreasing from left to right. Um, I'm not actually gonna put an error on the end because from left to right, we can see it's going down, but our graph would have an arrow on the end toward the negative infinity side. Um, and then where's our positive infinity? Oh, it's decreasing from two to positive infinity. So from two to positive infinity, going left to right, it will be decreasing. And I'll go ahead and just put an arrow on the end as it head towards positive infinity. All right, so now we can sketch the graph. We're gonna make it kind of curvy um, and we're gonna pay attention to these blue lines that we drew in. This is where it changes from decreasing to increasing and vice versa. So it's coming in this direction. So I'm gonna start drawing like this. And then when it hits this line, it changes to increasing. I know it's gonna go through that. It's gonna increase, increase, increase. It's gonna hit this line. It's gonna to change to decreasing. It's gonna go through that intercept and I know it's gonna end up heading that direction. So 
that's just a sketch of the graph based on these descriptions right here.